legal grounds. There are only two legal grounds for declaring a strike. The first is collective bargaining deadlock and unfair labor practice. Now, so, if you are confronted with uh, a uh, uh, problem re regarding uh, validity of a strike, uh, um, determine the ground. Was it because of CBA deadlock or unfair labor practice? Uh, uh, aside from the two legal grounds, there are mandatory requirements that must be complied with by the union. The first is notice of strike. Second is strike uh, vote. And the third is strike vote report. So a uh, strike without complying with these uh, requisites is illegal. In the same manner that a strike declared on grounds other than uh, collective bargaining deadlock or unfair labor practice is illegal. So uh, if you are confronted with a problem regarding validity of strikes, uh, um, the problem may, may state that the uh, uh, mandatory requirements were complied with. Merong notice of strike, strike vote, and strike vote report. But go further. Determine the ground for the strike. Because they, there may be that the union may have filed a notice of a strike, they have conducted a strike vote and submitted a strike vote report. But if the ground for strike is not unfair labor practice or collective bargaining deadlock, the strike is still illegal. No. So uh, a notice of a strike is a mandatory requirement. What is the purpose of the notice of strike? Well, the purpose of the, not the notice of strike is to provide for a cooling off period. Uh, this is a source of tricky question. Article 278 says that uh, um, in case of dismissal from employment of union officers uh, uh, duly elected uh, uh, in accordance with the union constitution and bylaws, which constitute union busting, where the existence of the union is threatened, the 15 day cooling off period shall not apply and the union may take action immediately. Okay. There are two points that you should consider in that uh, provision. The first is that the dismissed officers must be elected, not appointed. So watch out if the problem says appointed. Now, the uh, cooling off period must be observed. Second point that you should uh, remember is that the dismissed uh, union officers must be duly elected. Uh, again, the, take note of the word duly, duly elected, which means that they were elected in accordance with the constitution and bylaws. If the election did not follow the constitution and bylaws, then the uh, union officers are not duly uh, elected. This uh, mandatory uh, requirement uh, uh, should still be complied with in case of union busting. Uh, you will note that even though the union, in case of union busting, is given the authority to immediately strike without exhausting the cooling off period, it is still obliged to comply with the mandatory requirements of a strike, which means that the uh, union should still file a notice of a strike, uh, strike uh, conduct a strike vote, and submit the strike vote uh, uh, report. 
in short, in case of union busting, only the cooling off period is dispensed with, not the compliance with the mandatory requirements.